feasibility studies, but so boat ramp. Okay, so this is really our stopgap, okay, in case we cannot, somebody showed me that there was a possibility of a boat ramp next to, way over there, hold on. Someone showed me an Adobe Photoshop of a possible boat ramp around here, yeah. in case we can't figure that out. So I talked to the LNR, and we had a $250,000 safe swim study that we passed last year. We had a $250,000, an additional $250,000 for boat ramp repair, which they haven't spent yet. So we're using that for the study that should have started now, by now, to see whether or not one, we can, we can make, make that, that swimming, swimming hole safer, you know, by allowing for um, people to be, for allowing for um, some kind of egress and ingress of the wa water, so there won't be bacteria um, culminating there. And also, that's for the 250,000 safe swim study, and to the other 250,000 for the, because we don't need the, the boat ramp repair unless, they find it feasible to do that, which I don't think so, to see whether or not there's a possibility of a boat ramp near there, okay? But um, this bill is in the event that the boat ramp cannot occur near Pohiki, it's gonna make a study of somewhere near the area, okay? So it's a stopgap. If they find that because a lot of people want the boat ramp to stay where it is, or at least near that area, because they're used to going there. If the 500,000 finds that that's possible, then they're, they're going to create something near there, as well as have a um, safe swim study.